Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a web resume in Wix. The first thing you want to do once on Wix.com, you are going to be creating an account. You can create an account for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. You can use your email address. And by the way, when I say free, I mean free forever. So you're going to be creating a Wix account. Then you're going to tap on create new site. After you have done that, you're going to be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. From here, you will be provided with two options. If you were to tap on start chat, you'll be able to set up your website using the Wix AI feature. But I would recommend that you tap on set up without chat. After you have done that, on the search bar, I want you to type in. You can either type in resume or you can type in CV. It is completely up to you. You can select any one of those options or you can select personal website. For example, let's say I were to just select tutor resume just for example sake. Then I'm going to tap on continue. After you have tapped on continue, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you'll be able to name your site. More than likely, since you're creating a resume website, you're going to be giving it your name. So I'll be calling this website Simple Answers. Then you will tap on continue. After tapping on continue, from here you can see, for example, if I were to add in work hours or so on, I could do that. But since this is a resume website, I won't be doing any of that. So I'm just going to be closing that option. Once you have closed that option, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. Then we're going to tap on pick a template. After you have selected pick a template, you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. If you don't see a template that you like, what I would recommend you do in the top right hand corner, you can simply tap on the search bar right there and you could type in CV for example. So you can tap on search CV and you will see different templates that you can pick from. So you can scroll down and you can go through the different templates until you find one that you like. Once you have found one that you like, so for example, let's say I would like to use this one. All you'll need to do is tap on edit. After you have tapped on edit, you're going to give it a few seconds. Then you will be redirected to the Wix editor page. Once on the Wix editor page, you'll now be able to make changes to how your website appears. So you're just going to give it a few seconds while it loads up. Then we can continue from there. So we're going to close the pop-up box right here. After you have closed the pop-up box, what I want you to do next, you're going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. So you're going to tap right here. And from there, you'll be able to get a better view of how your website looks. And now to start customizing your website, what I would recommend you do is any section that you would like to edit, you can simply hover over it with your mouse cursor. So for example, we would like to change the image right here. You can hover over it and you're going to tap on quick edit. After you have tapped on quick edit, you can go over to the right hand column. From here, you could change the background as you can see right here. You can also add your social media links by tapping on set links. Then you could tap on the title, you could edit the title, you can edit the paragraph right here. And you can also change the photo by tapping on change. After you have done that, you will be able to change the small details. For example, this paragraph section right here. And you can add in your phone number, email address, your email address right there and so on so you can see right there it makes it easy for you to edit it once you're finished making the editing changes if it is a case that you'd like to add another feature that you don't see you can tap on the plus in the top left hand corner that says add elements from there you can add any one of these elements whether it is a text a button anything that you like to add you'll find it in this section quite quickly so you can choose from right there. Another thing that I also want you to know is by tapping where you see top in the top left hand corner of my screen, you will be able to view all the pages on your website. 
and if it is a case that you like to create a new page you can tap on the third icon from the top left hand corner which is pages and menu from there you can tap on add page and you'll be able to create a new page as you can see right here so you can choose from any one of these pages so whether you like to create a blank page a services page projects page any one of these pages you'll be able to do that you can also add a portfolio to display your work so you could tap on add wix portfolio and from there you'll be able to display your previous work so you'll be able to better market yourself once you're finished you're going to tap on publish and your website will go live hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe